The lights are at their brightest tonight at the Bryce Jordan Center in State College. These teams are involved, Sean. You got to know that you better bring your lunch pail and your hard hat. He's been terrific this year, scoring inside and out. He's attacked more. He's posted up. He's really had a very good scoring season for Penn State. State has really gone on an upswing under Patrick Chambers. Patrick Chambers has turned this program around in his fifth year as the head coach of the Nittany Lions. Blocked by Dickerson, pulls it down with a play by J.D. Joiner from NBA range. Wow! I'll tell you, man, he is all about rhythm. You get him going, you get him a little bit of momentum, he's going to kill you. Penn State basketball in the paint is presented by Pepsi. We welcome you inside Bryce Jordan Center for our game this afternoon on the Big Ten Network. It's Illinois and Penn State. Man, I'm feeling great. You know, it's been an honor to play in this in this arena. And, you know, I just want to I just want to leave out on a high note. Pretty good, pretty good. Last home game, you know, I'm trying to finish out the regular season, so I'm trying to get this dub. There's things we still gotta do. Still, there's things we still gotta accomplish. Or again, things that no, no team ever did here. Let's be a part of history. Let's go. Attitude on three. One, two, three. Attitude. Reeves lays it up and then with the left hand off the window. Four wing deep three by Garner, gone. Goes off Lewis, it's loose. Garner takes it away, ahead to Josh Reeves. Slam dunk left hand. Pulls up near wing for three, it's gone. Got by Reeves who now drives through the lane, pulls up in the lane, left hand and good. Taylor lays it up and as he blew by Lewis. The orange right here, oh, understand. Orange. Gotta play with the same Zero in the middle. middle. Zero Zero in the middle. middle. In the lane, Reeves left hand up and good. Juggles and a steal by Peyton Banks. Dickerson backs in, leans in, left hand up and good. Jack straight on three for the lead is good. Do all the little things. Take care of your 95. Take care of your 95. Go. Let's win this four minutes with our energy, with our effort, with our attitude. Go. Play to exhaust you. Rolls off, no rebound, Donovan Jack lays it up and in. Partners to the far wing, drives, lays it up and in. The first 20 minutes of play ended with the Nittany Lions having a one-point advantage. Looking ahead, would 40 minutes be enough time to settle this end of the season rock fight? With the teams in the locker room, Penn State basketball celebrated the memory of a former Nittany Lion athlete and active community member, Brandon Ream. The Team Ream Foundation is a nonprofit organization with huge ties in the global action sports community. Team Ream was established to preserve the legacy of Brandon and carry on the fight against cancer. Honoring those who have won that fight is a way to show the progression in this ongoing battle. Kathy Drysdale and Mitch Stover, both cancer survivors and members of the Penn State basketball family, received the Fighter of the Year Golden Gloves Award. Everybody talk it out, do your job. Start this half with a huge stop. Let's go, go, let's go, 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 go. And it goes to Morgan. Good catch over Reeves, blocked by Dickerson, loose and picked up by Garner. And that's no good, batted by Taylor. Taylor gets the rebound. One dribble, right hand up and good. He couldn't have played it any better. Stripped by Garner. Garner right to the steal. floor, picks it up and gives it to Banks. Near wing Banks, goes by it, jumper from 15, gone. Come on, fellas. Come on, one possession at a time. Right here, right here, right here man. All the energy and juice you got. Let's go. Near wing three, Washington, gone. Taylor backs in, Taylor's in the lane, forces it up, and gone. Guys, play to exhaustion. We got guys who want to play. Play to exhaustion. <laughs> J. 
Jeff, gotta get open, okay, babe? Gotta get open. Fires it blocked by Dickerson. Overtime. And they fire it up in overtime here at the Jordan Center. I am so proud of this group. So proud. And they knew what was on the line. And they never wavered. And the Nittany Lions win the finale, defeating Illinois 86 to 79 in double overtime. But I'm really happy for Brandon Taylor. Uh, his leadership, his consistency all year long. It's a great feeling. You get to go out in front of all the people that you know that I love and that love me back. And uh, you know, you get a win. And, and you know, it's the most wins I even had in the Big Ten, so it's just it's a great feeling. And, you know, I'm happy to be a part of it. You know, it took all of us. Sophisticated look, man. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Suits for the Big Ten tournament. No, that's something coach I guess want to do. Change up for my travel gear. I'm all right with it. And we're about to head out to Indiana, man. You know, take care of business. Hence, that's why we have business suits, man. Big Ten, baby. Big Ten. See y'all there, Indianapolis, Ohio State, 6:30. Yeah. No, I didn't. I didn't. This trip is all about. Okay, go upstairs, get changed, get your resting. All right, we got a big few days ahead of us. Everybody understand that? Let's go. Let's bring it in on BT. Let's go. Let's go, man. Just At attitude. Just attitude. Attitude on three. One, two, three. Attitude. Game level focus right now. Game level focus. It's full body health. He should already be in there. He's a containing clothes guy. Full body health. Getting ready for the game tonight. Try to relax, keep focus. You know, well prepared. Have you get a bit of practice and stuff like that. I'm just gonna go from there. See what happens tonight. Work on getting better every day. Excited. You know, it's my last go around, so I'm trying to make it a good one. They're a real good team. Tough team. You know, we played them earlier this season, and um, you know, they they got a little bit of everything. So you know, we're just gonna have to play uh, Penn State basketball. And, you know, just worry about what we control. You know, that's our attitude, our effort. Welcome to Bankers Life Fieldhouse. The second round of the Big Ten Tournament as Penn State gets ready to face Ohio State. Patrick Chambers is building layers of a foundation. You come to play at Penn State, you are expected to perform at a certain level. You're going to have a heck of a game tonight, I really believe that. Their quarter, Taylor for three. Good. It's 49 of them now this year. They're going to play hard. It's just what they're going to do. Taylor knocks down the three because he's looking for that three-point shot here, and he's in a couple. On the push, it's Garner to the basket. Love the hustle there from Garner. Backing in wheels, right hand up. Good, he's got eight points, and that patience was outstanding. Takes it off to Dickerson, slam dunk right hand, and Penn State with an exclamation point takes the lead. Garner sees the opening, goes right through it, lays it up and in. Three from the top by 
Donovan Jenkins, his 10th of the year. He's a good looking freshman. Barwink stepping in with three as Taylor, it's gone. What a feed by Jeff Garner in Penn State now with eight unanswered. It's the finish, lays it up off the glass, it good. Good catch by Foster, drives the baseline, lays it up and in. Drives on Loving, looks to finish. No, slammed in by Julian Moore. And Penn State's got this down to three. Penn State's pressure's been getting close. A lot of heart from this squad. Hanging in the yep. game. Chef Garner just having a phenomenal game, 25 points. We liked a lot of what we saw from this squad. The seniors, certainly Brandon Taylor, Donovan Jack, Devin Foster, Jordan Dickerson. What a run the group had toward the end. Proud of my team this year, the way they, they competed, the way they stuck together. They were a determined bunch. Seniors and this team put us in this position to be a nine seed, to be a 10 seed. And to me, that's progress. Are the guards the pretty boys of college basketball? <laughs> um, definitely. You know, they don't get as much contact as the as the bigs do. Big uglies. I think some of them should look in the mirror for themselves, you know, and check it out. <laughs> the bigs are saying players like you are the pretty boys, the prima donnas of the <laughs> team. What do you have to say about that? Ah, uh, the prima donna part, not really. But I would say, yes, the pretty boy. I mean, somebody got to do it. Are the guards the pretty boys of college basketball? The what? The guards. Are they the pretty boys? Mm-hmm. What? No, everybody didn't know the big men. What? Look at this. You know, no, nah, but honestly, I think I think I do have the best looks on the team, so I don't know, you might have to check the stats on that. Ah, oh, man, I don't like to hear that. I, I mean, I'm the best looking one on the team, clearly. You see, you see what I got going on here. Are the forwards the big uglies of college basketball? <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. The guards are saying forwards like you are the big uglies in the team. What do you have to say about that? I don't know. I'm cute myself, so I can't judge other people. <laughs> Just got done class, you know. First, uh, first week off of this season. You know, it's this crazy feeling right now, uh, having the season over and, you know, just having no time for just class. So, you know, it's something new for me and it's something that I gotta get used to for these last two months. You know, I can remember the day I stepped on this campus and, you know, it, it goes by in a flash. You know, that's something that coach has been saying to me. I mean, I think I've grown as a person more, uh, more important than, than even on the floor. You know, this, this program and this, this university helped me grow as a man. And, you know, that, that's going to help me in life way beyond, you know, just playing basketball. I mean, I'm, I'm planning on graduating in May. And um, with, uh, with my, you know, my major in communications and my minor in sociology. As I started it and started getting to my major classes, I figured out that I really like doing, like, editing and, you know, getting, getting the shots and, and putting it together and making videos. Now, I like to compare it to, uh, like somebody, like a painting, and um, you know they start off with their whole process, and you know they put the paint on there, and, and they pick and choose what they want to do, and, and I, I feel like it's the same thing for the video. You pick and choose the the right videos, the right you know the right uh, scenes, and the right you know uh, voiceovers and whatever you need to put on there, and you put it all together, and then at the end, it's like it's your masterpiece, and and you can say that you did it, and you put it together, and you did it you know the way you wanted to do it. I think my most popular piece would be definitely be the one I did on uh, Donovan. You know, it was my, like my best friend and, and my roommate. And, um, you know, pretty much I just introduced him to the world because I feel like it, it might be a little hard for him to do it being so quiet. Most people know Donovan Jack as the basketball player at Penn State who blocks shots. Blocked by Donovan Jack, what a play! Gets a couple of dunks. Kicks it off to Jack, slam, duck at the wire, and Penn State goes to the locker room with an exclamation point. And knocks down the occasional three-pointer. Straight on three for the lead. 
but I know Donovan Jack on another level. Born November 18, 1993, Donovan Matthew Jack is the son of Kirk and Donna Jack. He has two brothers, Connor and Casey, and a younger sister, Delaney. Before Penn State, Donovan was just a regular kid from Reading, Pennsylvania. He played basketball at Burst Catholic High School. 32, Donovan Jack. And his 10th in scoring in school history with 1,725 points and accomplished many other things like being a three-time All-State selection and leading Burks Catholic to a division, county, and class AAA district championship. He decided to spend his four years at the Pennsylvania State University under coach Patrick Chambers. Playing and getting to know Donovan has been great, and we have shared many moments on and off the court in our last three years. I mean, guys like Don and, and, and Isaiah, they stepped up today. And, um, you know, we know they can do it. We've just been waiting for it. Down to Jack. Jack on the floor once, lays it up, and, and the basket counts on a foul. And Donovan Jack's a bit live tonight. But it always isn't great times with Donovan. Not only am I his teammate, but I'm also his roommate. There are things I have to deal with that the fans don't, like the pile of dishes he leaves in the sink, when he forgets to take his trash out, and the times where he locks his door and doesn't speak to anybody. Because I'm his roommate and we are with each other every day, we have built a great friendship and we do almost everything together, like brush our teeth, play video games, and watch TV. Going into his senior year at Penn State and being one of the leaders of the men's Penn State basketball team, Donovan is excited to spend his last few months here in Happy Valley. Now that I think about it, what I'm gonna miss, I'm just gonna miss being in the locker room after practice or after a workout or after a lift. And you know, the days where we're, we're tired and you know, it feels like we can't even move. And then, you know, in five minutes, everybody's joking and laughing and we're just having a good time. The one place, you know, where, where I felt, you know, at peace throughout all this craziness is when I walk in the locker room, you know, everything just disappears. As soon as I get in the locker room and I see my teammates, I'm fine. I feel like that's something that, that's most important here is, uh, you know, the family atmosphere. We, you know, we, we welcome everybody, you know, with open arms. We love one another and we, and we treat each other as if we're family. Penn State basketball in the paint is presented by Pepsi. Pepsi, live for now. And in part by PSECU. Financing life is what we do best. Talk with us. Program's definitely headed in the right direction. We took major steps this year. Another 16-win season. Uh, that's three straight now. So again, these seniors put this program on their back. Seven conference wins this year, which was critical to our success. The seniors did a great job this year for us. Jordan Dickerson was, you know, blocking shots, running the floor, rebounding the basketball. Dickerson knocks it out of bounds. The lob and the finish by Dickerson. Donovan Jack, man, did he finish in a flurry down the stretch here of doing everything we needed him to do. Kicks it off to Jack, slam, duck at the wire. I mean, how good was Donovan Jack in this game? And Devin Foster played those spot minutes that really helped us out, played great against Indiana. Foster fades for three, go on, and Penn State retakes the lead. Before I get to Brandon Taylor, statistically, what an incredible leader he was all year. He commanded the locker room, the weight room. He became another coach. Where he started as a freshman um, to where he ended up is gonna be a story that's gonna be told for years to come at how you can, it can be done. You can change your body, you can change your mind, and you can change your game. He was double-double machine. I think he had eight on the year, which was six in the Big Ten. It just shows you player development, his maturity, how much he's evolved as a man. And that's our job, right? To develop men. And I think BT bought into that this year and the light came on for him. He knows leadership never takes a day off. There's things we still gotta accomplish. More to get. Things that no, no team ever did here. Let's be a part of history. Let's go. Again, all four guys together, their leadership 
really help the younger guys. Shep Garner went through a little bit of a roller coaster and came out of it looking great. Peyton Banks went from averaging one point uh, per game to, to nine points per game. Josh Reeves being young, going through mono. These seniors made sure that this locker room was tight and made sure they taught the younger guys how to control their attitude, how to take care of their business, and to show up every single day and be as consistent as they possibly could. You better get on board. If you didn't get on board last year, you better hurry up and get on board this year. Style of play is gonna be fast, it's gonna be upbeat. I'm fired up about the returning players. Shep Garner, man, did he finish the season off, almost averaging 20 points a game in the last five games. Really excited about what he's gonna bring and his leadership. Josh Reeves, he made a major impact. Peyton Banks, his development. Julian Moore, 6'11", long, athletic. Isaiah Washington, huge Iowa game, making all his free throws, made some big shots for us. Davis, another great shooter who played significant minutes for us. So the future's bright. We're gonna add in here Terrence Samuels, a guy who's won a national championship with UConn. And of course, Michael Watkins, the man in the middle, the 6'9", 6'10", guy who, who really helped our big guys can continue the process of getting better. Um, he's gonna be a lot of fun to watch. The talent coming in in Tony Carr, Joe Hampton, Lamar, Nas, you're so fired up, you're excited, you can't wait till they get here and join these other guys that we've talked about. They're in a state championship coming up here shortly. They won a city title. I mean, we're bringing in proven winners that are gonna make an impact right away to help us take that next step in our process to, to start fighting for Big Ten championships.